angel messages for the week ahead. We're starting on the 18th of April all the way through to the 25th. So this is your weekly angel message and I know that last week that you missed it just because I'm traveling and the time zones are really out of sync but hopefully um, we can start to do them again and I'm really happy that I've got the time to do this with you today. So I'm using the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck by Radley Valentine and we're going to pull three cards for the guidance for the week ahead and we're also going to have a look at what the angels want us to spiritually focus on this week. So we'll pull an extra card for that as well. So I'll just wait a minute while everybody comes on live. Um, so it's so nice to see you. I'm actually in England. I'm usually in Australia. And I'm staying in this beautiful little Airbnb in this gorgeous country village. And it is absolutely beautiful, steeped with history, absolutely beautiful gorgeous buildings and the flowers are out it's spring so we've got tulips everywhere and daffodils cherry blossom trees it's so gorgeous so amazing um, I feel very very lucky to be here so let me know in the comments if you can see and hear me okay the lighting's not brilliant but who cares we can do this right so I think it's um I think it's really good timing for you guys in Australia in particular and it's it's kind of 11 a.m. here in, in Australia in uh, uh, the UK so you're about nine hours ahead so let me know oh hi Sandra hi thank you so much thank you it's so lovely to be here so let's ask the angels when this month all the way up until may we're working with archangel michael and the archangel lady faith and you're going to learn a lot about those two archangels in my upcoming attunement webinar which is on the 20th of may but um which is a month from now which is when i'll be back in australia but we're going to invoke those angels right now to bring about the, the reading and the message that we want for this week. Hi, Danielle. All good in Port Macquarie. Yay. <laughs> um, it's been quite warm here, you know. It's been pretty warm. So let's call on Archangel Michael, Archangel Lady Faith, and any other archangels that want to be with us to, to bring about your clearest, most beneficial messages for this week. The thing that you most need to know to create the abundance, the manifestations that you want to attract, and also to manifest a healing for anything that's an obstacle for you at this time. So if you want to clear any blocks, if you're feeling challenged in the, any way, especially with this big full moon that we've just, um, we're just in right now, the full moon really brought up a lot of energy and really magnified things. So you might have felt an intensity building up to the full moon, which now is starting to dissipate, but it was about showing you exactly what you needed to remove from your life, exactly what you need to change. Maybe you need um, to do a bit of a transformation on some part of your life with the angels. And also, what's really important to you? You know, is it time out? Is it self-healing? Is it self-care? Is it working on your business? What's coming up that is really you know, important for you right now. You've got to pay attention to that. So we've got Danielle. Hi, Danielle, Leah, Susan, Rose Pascal, Sapida. Hi, great to see you too. Yeah, because I'm in a different time zone. So um, it's it's probably works better for some people, right? Maybe when I get back to Australia, I can um, adopt this time zone as well. <laughs> So Archangel Michael, Archangel Lady Faith, and Archangel Jophiel. And we've also got a little Archangel Raphael energy coming in, and I'm also picking up on Archangel Raziel, who's the angel of spiritual understanding. And he's letting you know that there are some really big spiritual lessons coming up at the moment, where which might be linking you back to past lives. So pay attention to patterns that are repeating, or deep fears that are coming up. Anything that is really deep and meaningful for you, has a link to your soul and to lessons that you're currently learning. So pay attention to that at the moment because we've got Raziel with us who is helping us. So thank you, angels. Thank you for bringing about the clearest message that we most need to know for the week ahead. Now I'm just going to shuffle until I feel the angels nudge me to stop. Right. 
I only brought two decks of cards with me. <laughs> wow, okay. What did I say before? The word transformation. Really, really strong for us at the moment. So are you noticing that things are coming up that need to, you know, it can be simple things. They're broken or they're not working as well or things just seem to be creating a lot of obstacles. So that can be because you're being pushed to make a change and your intuition is telling you, your angels are telling you, but your ego self is pushing away those nudges. You're trying to ignore them in some way. Maybe you're numbing yourself. Maybe you're just doing lots of busyness so that you avoid. Maybe you know it's there, but you just don't want to look at it. So there are some issues coming up for you that you need to make changes. So first card out, let me see. First card out is a very watery card. Look at this beautiful mermaid. It's um, a page and it shows, you know, this is a very emotional full moon, right? It's very, it's bringing up all of the emotional stuff, which is good. It's good. It's coming up to release. And the little mermaid here, she's sitting there by the shore. Her cup is overflowing. Now, this can be two things. It can be one, that you're really in appreciation and gratitude. And if that is you, well done. The angels are clapping, they're cheering, they're saying, keep going with that because you're manifesting more good in your life. And you're healing from the things that have traumatized you, that have hurt you. It can also be that you are holding back the tears. There are emotions that want to come out and because you're not acknowledging them or you're not allowing yourself to release them, then they're just going to spill out maybe at a moment where you don't want them to. So be very aware of your emotions at this time. You might be feeling more sensitive than usual, more intuitive than usual because we've got that Pisces and that Scorpio energy coming up at the moment. And you might also be feeling a bit irritable like you, you, and when you feel irritable, it's not necessarily the other people's fault, right? It's mostly because you're ignoring some message from within you. So this is a time to get still. Go visit water, sit by a stream, sit by the ocean. Go, you know, even if you have to go and have a shower or a bath, do something that helps you to acknowledge that sensitive emotional side. And that will really get the psychic messages flowing. So if you've been getting some intuitive messages, We've had this one as a block so many times in the last couple of months. If you've been following me every Monday, you'll recognize this card. And again, it's another watery card, right? So definitely about the emotions. And this one shows the king. So the page is when you're not feeling so confident. Sometimes this is a good thing, right? It's like we're new beginnings. We're doing something different. You're learning something new. So you go back to being a student again, doesn't matter what age you are. That's good. We've got to keep doing that. I always remember Louise Hay saying, every decade of her life, every new year of her life, as she got older, she learned something new. She went dancing. She did art. She went to new classes because she didn't want to lose that ability to, to be a student. And, you know, she got into her 90s with that attitude of still a very vibrant person. And I think that's a good lesson for all of us. So here's the energy might be getting a bit stuck. You might be feeling a bit washed out, a bit drained, a bit like you can't move forward. Now you, that means you've got to come back to the little page here and do some contemplation, meditation, even a little bit of play to help you to get back in touch with your intuitive psychic side. Um, it might be that your emotions have got all clogged up in that sacral chakra, in your throat chakra, and you haven't been expressing them so you really need to do that now i know that these are tarot cards as well as angel cards but i'm reading them intuitively as angel cards not as the tarot cards um, as i speak to you so that's the message that i'm getting from the angels as i'm speaking to you so it can be that you're too much in your masculine side you've been doing too much and you need to balance that with the receiving the, the stopping the meditation all right, love this card as your guidance. So this is big stuff. You've heard me say it before. It's the cosmic kick in the butt card. This is when you're getting that message that you need to pay attention. And this is what they've said to us right from the beginning of this video. The angels are saying, pay attention to things. Now the transformation, this card, the tower comes up. It's Archangel Shamuel. It comes up when it's like breaking point. 
Now, it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing, but sometimes we don't see it that way. You know, you always hear stories of people, maybe they were doing really well in business, but then something happened, maybe their office burnt down, or they, they you know, got had to go on a detox and, and from burnout. Things can happen that make us stop and reassess and make changes. Now, if we don't listen to those intuitive nudges that we're getting, they get louder. You know, I always remember um, Oprah saying, right, it starts as a whisper and it gets a shout. And in the end, you get a you get a shove or a brick. And this is what this card is signifying. It's like you need to release something that's no longer serving you. It could be a behavior, self-sabotaging behavior. It could be something that just isn't working anymore. It used to work and it was good for you. Now it's not. It's something that needs to go so that you can change your life and the things that you've been asking for can manifest. So what is it? Let me know in the comments. You know, is it overwork? Is it worry? Is it overthinking? Is it something that you're eating? <laughs> it could be anything that has been starting to show you signs and is get, the signs are getting stronger that you need to make a change. So you will get revelations you will get realizations aha moments inspired guidance from the angels about this if you just sit still and say okay what's the lesson what am i supposed to be learning right now archangel shamuel will help you shamuel helps us to find what we're looking for and you know what's that saying like you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs like sometimes we've got to get out of old patterns We've got to move away from things that are actually holding us back in order to have what we've been asking for, what we deeply desire, what our soul is here to do. Outcome card. I love this. Look, at here's where Archangel Michael shows up. It's the emperor, so it's about being organized, feeling more in control of your life, not in a kind of dysfunctional way, feeling kind of grounded and having a strategy to move forward. Um, it's a really good one. We've got Michael holding up his sword of truth. So again, revelations, remembering things that you need to know, realizations, aha moments, getting that inspired, that missing piece of guidance that you've been waiting for. Um, and this is gonna involve you taking action because this is very much an action-oriented card. So this is about you taking a step to help yourself. You know, um, my mum is, we're in England at the moment. I'm originally from Jersey, which is a tiny island off the coast of France, which is um, its own country in a way. It's an autonomy. And my mum's just had an operation and she's staying with my sister. So I'm staying in an Airbnb nearby and um, she's recovering. And in her, the little room that she's staying in, the kids and my niece and nephew, one of them have written a note and it says the universe helps those who help themselves because that's usually used as an office and for their parents and it's you know obviously it's a little bit of a motivational thing but that's what I think of that's what the angels are, are reminding me of as I bring this card the universe the angels help those who help themselves so whatever you're waiting for the messages and guidance are coming you just got to stop still you got to do some releasing and and that's really going to help you hi Kobe in India gorgeous hi D Hi, Teresa and Rebecca. So lovely to have you all here. So what are you releasing right now? Now, I did promise one final card, which is what are we supposed to be spiritually focusing on at the moment? What's the spiritual focus from the angels? So I'd love your um, your comments about, oh, it's 1111 here. One, 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 one. It's the energetic gateway, so make a wish. <laughs> What are you putting out for? All is divinely well, all is in divine order. Everything that I need comes to me. I'm supported by the angels in the universe. Everything is working out for my highest good. Those are the affirmations you say when you see 1111. I can see on my computer it says 1111. And on the weather report it says 22 degrees. Um, so we've got an 1111 and a 22. I love those angel numbers. So angels. Archangel Michael's coming forward for this one. What are we what are we meant to be spiritually focusing on right now? Abundance. Building abundance. 
This is what this is about. So this is about having, because when you build abundance for yourself, you not only help yourself, but you help others. It has a ripple effect, right? So you help the economy, you help small businesses, but you also help your family and you become an inspiration to other people. So don't feel guilty about asking the angels to help you to manifest abundance. So creating abundance, not for the sake of it, but to create security and creating things that fit in, in alignment with your soul. So that might be leaving a legacy for your family. It might be taking care of, of your family as they are now. It might be donating to your favorite foundations and charity and causes. It's about building abundance. So that is the spiritual focus for this week. That's a 10 card. And Archangel Jophiel and Archangel Michael are helping you with that. Isn't that beautiful? You just had the video at 12.12. Yes. Hi, Benny. Hi, Kyla. All oh, my lovelies are here. That's so nice. So that just gave my heart a little flutter when I saw that. Look at that. So we've got the pillar of abundance. We've got the family in all, you know, the elderly, and we've got the children, and we've got the woman that's pregnant, and this playful energy. We've got the, the bird taking off, um, which birds represent the angels, right? And the feathers. And we've got all this green grass and these fruit trees around, which all represents the abundance of the universe. So start saying your abundance affirmations. You know, um, I am divinely abundant. I am secure now and always. The divine is the source of my abundance. All is divinely well. And just affirm, even if you've got a big bill coming in or something that scares you, just say, the angels are going to help me take care of this. I am a channel for abundance. Watch one of the old attunements. I did an abundance attunement a couple of months ago. Um, watch that and get back into the flow of aligning. It was called the divine magic um, attunement. Yay. Hi, Joanne. So that's me for today. I'm going to go now and um, get a taxi to go and see my family. And I will very much try and do one of these. Um, perhaps not next week. I've got such exciting week ahead. So I'm going to fly to Jersey with my mum tomorrow. And then I'm flying back to Heathrow where I'm going to meet with John Holland, a, the psychic medium and Laura Wooster, the intuitive medium, and um, a group of people, and we're all going to go on this sacred sites of ancient Britain tour, which is going to be kind of interwoven with lots of spiritual practice and just being with like-minded people. The hairs are standing up on my head. I haven't spoken that much about it because I just... I just wanted to contain the energy, really, and, you know, I'm so excited. So that means I'm going to be probably um, not as available, even as I am now, to to do the reading. So if I can't do next Monday, it will definitely do one through the um, following week. But, and, and I'll keep you posted on Instagram and Facebook, so keep an eye out for those photos and posts that I'm going to include. I'm really excited about it. I mean, John Holland has been, is someone that I admire for his amazing talent as a psychic medium but also as a integrity you know he's he's just a very high integrity person the way he does things um so i'm so amazed and grateful for the opportunity that i've got to be here in england and to do that and then I'm, i've got another couple of weeks with mum and my um, sister and niece nephews and brother-in-law before um i come back to oz but um it's all wonderful. So I'm sending you loads of angel blessings and I will see you at some point. <laughs> so watch out for those posts. And look, you can book in for the Archangel Michael, Archangel Faith event, which is divine relationships. We're going to be doing lots of cord cutting, clearing heartache, heartbreak, healing for relationships past and present and future. And um, it's your opportunity to connect with those two major archangels for your life. So that's on the 20th of May and tickets are still available at the moment. So you can go over. I'll put the link in the um, in the comments. So if I can. Yeah, there you go. It's in the comments right now if you want to take a look at that event on the 20th of May. Thanks so much. Thank you, Danielle. And I will see you next time. Angel blessings.